Hi, I'm Mike here, and today I'll be reviewing my 2008 MacBook Air. And here it is. Thirteen point three inch display, one point six gigahertz Intel Core two dual processor, two gigs of RAM and eighty gigabyte hard drive. And yes, this machine is very thin. It's the world's thinnest notebook. See? It really is. And I'll go over the overview of the outside body first before we open it up. Here it is. Right here you have mini display USB headphone jack. I believe that's mini display. MagSafe power adapter, 45 watt. Set it back up. And here it is. And this is just like a microfiber cloth I put over the keyboard to protect the screen and the keys and everything. Keeps it clean, keeps from dusting if I have it open while it's charging or something like that. So I'll just put this aside. And overall, it is a very good notebook. Here in it is very fast for a two gigabytes. Of, that's a lot of memory, but it's fine for what I do. I just video editing, and I use Flipshare to import my movies from my Flip onto the desktop and then import into iMovie. Very that's done fast. If, probably about three times as fast as I could do on my PC desktop, and that has three gigabytes of memory and this one has two and yeah I use Flipshare and then I'll use, and then I'll import it into iMovie and it just works fine I can go on the internet and it will run in the background seamlessly while it's importing if I have a longer video which this one will probably be one of those maybe not let's see how I go and yep it is just a very nice notebook it's got the built-in eyesight at the top the camera it's okay it's like it's good for Skyping any type of video chatting you need to do. It's not the best, it's not greatest, it's definitely not HD quality, awesome final camera. It's just, it's cool for taking pictures if you're, with you messing around with your friends, if you want to use photo booth, which is a very cool app. I don't know why I just opened. But anyway, yeah, photo booth is very nice just for playing around with the friends. You can use effects on it and stuff like that. And yes, overall, it's very nice. So, and yeah, it's got built in iChat, which I haven't used yet, but I heard it's pretty good. And here is something else I want to show that Apple has very innovated with your computer. If um, all the newer Macs ship with this, I'm almost positive on. And Apple TV, if you have that, you probably got this. Or the old white one. And I, I think the white one still ships with the Mac, with the white MacBook. It might not. I, I'm not quite sure on that. But this is for to take you in the front row. And front row is a place where you can, if you just like, I don't know, you got your friends here chilling out, you trying to listen to music, you'll hit Menu. And it will go into front row. It's infrared. There's the infrared sensor. And there's the infrared sensor right there on the MacBook. Oh, I just blocked it. That's what I think got through. Come on. It takes a second, but it will go in. Hold on. There it goes. And front row is just a place where you can either go into... What you have is you have... I'll start from the top. You have movies. I do not have any. You have TV shows, music, podcasts, photos, settings, and sources. And what you can do is you can watch it. Like if you want, if you're sitting in bed and you have your Mac set up, if you have like an iMac or a Mac Pro with a big display or with a big screen, you can hit play and just you can sit back, watch your movies from your computer, or if you just want to play music. And then you can go into music. This is what I thought was cool that iTunes put in. If you're hooked up to internet, not via Ethernet though, because the MacBook doesn't have Ethernet. I thought that was kind of strange. I thought they should have put that in. But, you know, that's what they didn't do it. And what I thought was cool is that you can go into iTunes through Wi-Fi when you own it, and then you can watch the top top ten songs, I believe, or just the iTunes top songs. You get like 30 seconds of it. Or you get like 30, and you get 30 seconds of the top music videos, which is pretty cool. I I don't use that that much. Or you can do shuffle your songs, your music videos, your playlists, your artists, albums, just by all your songs, genres, composers, and audiobooks. And I'll get into that now. The reason why I only went into music is because that's all I have on there. 
this is really not, I have my iPod Touch set up on my iHome right there. If you, um, for my music and everything, and my music is on my other desktop, my PC. Very slow. And yeah, so, that's it. And here I am back to the home page. Very cool pro, and you can't get any better on design, that is a sleek remote. $20 retail though if you don't, so don't lose it. And yeah. So what I wanted to show you was just this and how it's so small. The, the reason why Apple sells a lot of these is portability. One thing I think is nice, I did try this once and it did work. I can take through the mini display port, I can put um, a cable I have and hook it up to a bigger monitor so I can use that as in desktop mode. And Desktop mode is where you use uh, another keyboard, another mouse on a desktop size display, and you just keep your Mac closed, your laptop closed, and then you it's just like using a desktop, but you're not using your MacBooks parts hardware for a desktop display, and that's what you'll do. It just it's a very nice computer, but if you do that, I suggest you get a chiller fan, which I, I saw at Walmart for like forty dollars. It's really not that bad, and that'll just sit under, and your Mac will be elevated, and it'll blow cold air up into your Mac through the vents that are in the back, right there, to keep it cool, because it will get very hot with that display. And yes, one thing that's a big complaint from Apple, and it was for me when I first got it, was no DVD drive. Nope, there is not a DVD drive. Get careful with this. And that is something that disappointed me when I first got it because I bought it used for, I got a great deal, $350 on it. And that disappointed me very much because a DVD drive was very important to me because that didn't have iLife on it. So I was wondering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I took it to the, uh, first I took it to Small Dog Electronics. I got iLife, went to rent it up. I asked them to install it for me. They said, yes, let me check the fee. Checked it, it was $40. Best Buy was $30 plus the 50 for the actual software. That's crazy. That's almost twice the amount for just the software. It's ridiculous. And yep, I have iLife 11 right here. That's why I was 350. It was gonna be 400, but they gave me 50 dollars off so I could get the new iLife. Thank you very much if you're watching. Don't you are, but whatever. It's just it was very nice of you. It was a good deal. And this thing was basically brand new. It was awesome. And yeah, but what the and then I took it to the Apple store. I bought the software. They said, yeah, we typically don't do this, but let me look in the back. And they pulled out a super drive, hooked it up, and ran it. One thing that that you can do is um drive sharing, where you can use a PC or a Mac or any other computer with a disk drive, and put your software in through that, so you can um and it'll download wirelessly onto your notebook, which I probably could have done, but I didn't. And I just got the new iLife. I had fifty dollars left, so I just did it. It's done. I have iLife and I can make my videos with iMovie, make soundtracks, and make cool uh, pictures with iPhoto. So yeah, it's a very nice laptop overall. I think that anyone who wants to be portable should get one. Any student, I think this would be great for because you're on campus, say you're walking around, excuse me, taking the bus or anything, and it's just of such so light. I'm gonna be very careful with it. And yeah, the one thing I was very happy with was the microphone that's built onto the iSight camera, because that microphone it works very well. The cam the camera, like I said, could be better, but pff, what do you want? Mm. I don't know. But anyway, I that was as a great computer. I think anyone, yeah, anyone who wants to be portable should get it. Uh, compl uh, another complaint I have will be this. This little latch is very, like, when you set it down on the desk, the, the bumpers on the bottom will keep it up, but not enough. So this, this will sit a bent in just a little bit. It won't close, but if you move your Mac in any, in your MacBook Air in any way, it will close that latch. That is one of the only complaints, and only one USB port. That's fine. I have this external hard drive right here that also doubles as a hub which I use if I need it. I really don't because usually I plug in my flip, put all my music onto Flipshare, I'll take it off, put my mouse on, and then I'll export them to desktop, then import to iMovie, and then I'll be on my happy way editing. It is just a very nice computer, I think. Everyone should have one that wants to be portable. 
and overall it's just great. And the new one does have an SD card slot, which this one does not. And I think that's a nice improvement, and that is my review of my 2008 MacBook Air. I hope you enjoyed if you're watching. Remember, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much.